The new team of the season upgrade series one evolution is here. The fact it says one makes me think we might get a second one, like maybe one every week, which is awesome. But you can put team of the season players in it and upgrade it. As you can see, the overall of max 93, the player must not have more than 95 pace or more than 91. This school has to be a team of the season, so not a team of the season live. There is currently 11 eligible players in the game that actually fit this evolution. Um, but by the time you're watching, it's here for 20 days. We'll have a couple more tots teams by the time you guys are watching so no doubt there will be more players that fit the evolution so if you're watching this video and one of the 11 players is not on the tier list leave that player down below and i will reply with what tier i would have put that player in all right as simple as that now you'll probably buy the title when in the intro already know what we're doing today we're going to be ranking all 11 of the options on a tier list for cheap fast and reliable coins make sure to head on over to mmoexp.com and use my code davis at checkout for five percent off your order coins are incredibly cheap right now and with team of the season here there is no better time to look at picking up some coins the links are in the description as you can see we've got all 11 players that fit the evolution we've got the s tier being the obvious see the s tier cards the best tier cards we actually went for an a plus and an a tier and we will probably do this going forward because it gives a lot more it gives a lot more kind of context for how good i think the player is right so if in the a tier like that's still obviously very good above average but not as good as the a plus we've got a b tier and in the lowest tier being a c tier simple as this boys let's jump into it now first of all is i believe Dreya, and i do want to say as well this evolution gives plus one shooting plus one dribbling plus one in fact wait hold on not gives plus one pace plus one shooting plus two passing plus two dribbling plus one defending and plus one physical there we go uh so plus one to plus twos all over the board now this is the lowest rated player along with chucho hernandez and it is uh Dreyer. i think Dreyer, Dreyer, maybe how you pronounce it he doesn't look awful i mean he's fast his dribbling stats look great he's four star four star links are going to be an issue and he's one of those cards that really just doesn't scream amazing and the same goes for chucho hernandez as well for me these are the two worst cards that you can use in this evolution so they're both going to go in the b tier will they be usable yes will they be hard to link in also yes will they be mind-blowing game breaking no they won't all right b tier jewsbury hall looks actually really good we're putting him into the a if he wasn't in the championship i feel like there'd be a little bit more hype around him i believe he's got three stats over 90 his dribbling stats look incredible for me Drew's Jewsbury Hall, it's a bit of a tongue twister, is going in to the A tier. Uh, Gabriel is also going to be joining him in the A tier, and I'm actually going to put Gabriel ahead of him in the A tier. But Gabriel, in fact, I'm actually tempted to put him into A plus, you know. I think we're obviously rating in terms of comparing to the other players and the best options. I, I think Gabriel's got to be an A+. Plus. He looks really, really good. I think his normal team of the season, his 91 team of the season as it is, is absolutely class. So the fact you can obviously give him uh, a plus ones and plus twos on the board, make him a 92, is even better. I believe he's around 80,000 coins for me, a very underrated center back, and probably one of the best center backs on the game for under 100k, if not the best. Uh, Bowen is going to be joining him in the A+, plus tier. We'll put Bowen ahead of him, uh, just because his Bowen looks really good. He's a free card. You can get from i believe level 15 i'm a few thousand xp away from it so when i do get that then i will do a review on the 91 bowen but you can make him a 92 and he does look very very nice uh benny blanco we're gonna put alongside gabriel but i'll put gabriel ahead of him i think there are right backs especially kind of lucas vasquez who's about a hundred thousand coins available as an sbc who would rather it right back over benny blanco um whereas gabriel on the other hand i think for under 100k he is in my opinion the best center back on the game so we will have him over ben white mccabe is going to go into the a tier and we'll put her uh just behind drewsbury hall i don't think mccabe looks a bad card but i feel like it's kind of a little bit of a waste putting it on a left back um that doesn't make uh, not a game breaking left back if you will and especially the fact we had a left back evolution last week with kai havertz you can put his winter wild cards in you can get a 92 rated left back kai havertz right um so i feel like you'd be better off doing that evolution i believe it's 100k or 500 fifa points if you've still got that kai havertz than spending 100k on the McKay BSBC and putting her into it i just think there's better options at left back uh better value options at left back i should say McAllister is going to the very top of the a plus tier as well um in fact maybe even debatably an s tier i, I mean uh, that, that's a very tricky one we'll put him into the a plus tier this card looks absolutely fantastic um the thing is right so with an s tier and i, I want to clarify this 
An S tier doesn't mean compared to every single card in the game, I think, for an S tier. It means for this evolution, so comparing to the other players, right? For example, we did a ranking every Premier League Tots. I think I had McAllister in the higher end B or the lower end A tier. And with this 93, he's not going to be an A plus or an S tier card compared to every other Premier League Tots. But compared to the players that are eligible for this team of the season, I definitely think he's more so an S tier option than Bowen, Gabriel, and Ben White. McAllister is very debatable. For me, he's either S or going to be going into the A+. Plus. But he looks very, very good. His, uh, I think, passing and dribbling stats are fantastic. His best role for me is going to be a number 8 role, a box-to-box. -box. You don't want to use him too attacking because he's got some good defensive stats and attributes, but you don't want to use him too defensively because he's got some very good passing and very good attacking-minded stats. Uh, Alvarez, for me, is the best option. We'll be putting him into the S tier. Stats-wise, he looks fantastic, and I still stand. Uh, caused a bit of controversy in my Premier League tier list. I think I put him in the B tier and it caused a lot of controversy looking back maybe an A tier A tier sorry would have been more respectable but I still stand by my point and what I said in the Premier League tier list video and I dislike Alvarez's as playstyle pluses it's free playstyle pluses is first touch it's all right power shot and chip shot for me power shot and chip shot they're not useless but for me they're just not great I'd much rather a technical with a nice shot you know I'd be all over him I still stand by the fact I'm not a fan of Alvarez's as playstyle pluses but stats wise he looks fantastic and without a doubt the best option to do this evolution on if you have completed the SBC we'll put him over McAllister in the S tier Douglas Louise we're ending with the two Villa boys here this Douglas Louise card is a free card absolutely fantastic and we're going to put him in to the A tier a plus tier, sorry. Comparing him to McAllister, I think McAllister just edges it in the number eight role. Uh, Douglas Louise has got the intercept play style plus, so using him as a CDM is his best position. But the one issue with using him as a CDM is his work rates are high, high. If this card was medium attacking work rates and high defensive work rates, if he was medium high with the intercept play style plus that he's already got, then he'd be an S tier. But sadly, he does not. So I think McAllister as a number eight is going to be better than Douglas Louise as like a number six. Louise, six is still his best position, but as I said, the work rates kind of collide with the role I would be recommending to use him in. And we are ending with Ollie Watkins. I'm going to put him behind Douglas Louise. Do I put him ahead of Bowen though? That's the controversial one. That is a very controversial one. But he's definitely going in the A plus tier, lads. This is the final tier list of the 11 eligible players for the TOTS upgrade series one evolution. I'm going to have a little look at Watkins, Bowen, compare them, and I am going to switch them around. But other than that, I'm very happy with this order. Very very happy with the order but as i said i do want to just compare bowen and watkins and make some final little touches it's not gonna let me compare the 94 watkins so this is the upgraded bowen versus the unupgraded watkins so just imagine the pace boost um so watkins with the with the evolution boost has one more pace you'll have the same shooting you'll have five less passing he will have uh five less dribbling but four more physical so stats wise i'll probably edge it towards bowen okay uh but when it comes to the chem styles are both four star four star when it comes to the chem styles this is where bowen steals it for me technical whipped cross and traveller i would much rather over power shot obviously he's also got traveller and relentless so for me bowen stats wise very comparable i think i'd rather maybe bowen as like a, a wide cam maybe because he's got that whipped pass so as a right cam or something for me is probably his best position um but no i'm, I'm happy with bowen over watkin if you guys did enjoy as i said there's probably been another couple teams that have released uh and probably a lot more eligible players that are available for this evolution by the time you guys are watching so leave that player down below and i'll reply with what tier i would put them in very happy with this tier it's been your boy davis and i'll see you guys in the next one